I think it's important that we recognize Ukraine. We recognize uh, them now. Uh, the people of Ukraine have suffered now for more than 70 years under the most incredible, terrible oppression. They've never lost faith. Many of us have not kept the faith. Uh, but this is an opportunity now with uh, a nine to one outpouring of people voting for independence. They are a great people. They deserve uh, the support and confidence of the United States. Uh, they earned the right to our full diplomatic recognition. It's overdue. I sponsored the first resolution calling for our country to recognize them diplomatically, Senate Resolution 65. I'm proud to have sponsored that. I am deeply gratified at the honor that they pay me here today. Uh, but now it's time to get to the business of recognizing Ukrainian independence. What is it going to take for the United States to uh, get Ukraine independent again? Well, th they are. They are fully independent, recognize that uh, uh, the people uh, of uh, Russia, the Republic of Russia, recognizes them. Boris Yeltsin has established diplomatic, uh, diplomatic relations. And now it's time for the United States not to be behind the curve. It's time for them to recognize uh, Ukrainian independence. You know, as we're gathered here today, I can't help but think that we celebrated the 50th anniversary just yesterday of the Pearl Harbor uh, uh, attack. I uh, uh, gave a number of medals to Pearl Harbor survivors. But there's a, a, another kind of war that is still taking place. And unfortunately, the Japanese are waging it against us. It's an economic war. And I think as we uh, prepare to go into the new year, one of the things that our, our Congress had better begin to come to grips with is seeing to it that uh, we recognize that there is an economic warfare being waged against the United States. Uh, we had better have the courage to stand up and do something about it. And there are a number of instances uh, that I could cite which demonstrate very clearly that free trade is not free. It's, it, it's, it's uh, full of pitfalls. Uh, free trade must be fair trade. And I think the uh, Japanese government is taking advantage of the US, hurting our industrial base. And it's one of the things that I will be looking to address when we get back into session. Our industrial base cannot be sabotaged in this manner and, and hope that our economic recovery will take place. And we are in an economic recession. We better wake up and recognize that. Senator, just a point of clarification on recognizing independence. Is it not, the United States already recognized independence, but it just does not have the diplomatic relations? Uh, and so what are those diplomatic relations mean? Well, it's important that we give full uh, diplomatic recognition uh, to the Ukraine. Uh, the fact of the matter is the UN has already recognized it. Uh, it will give to them the ability to have their own uh, uh, core representing them throughout the world and here in the United States. It will mean that they can set up, if need be, their own currency. It means that they can then set up their own economic agenda to begin to move uh, out of a the communist era and doctrine which has entrapped uh, their people. It will free the, the engine of economic competition and allow them to go forward. Uh, it's a very rich country, uh, both with its people and its agriculture and its mining. Um, and I believe it will give us an opportunity to deal with some very serious problems, the nuclear uh, situation being one of them. There are 400 nuclear, 4,000 nuclear warheads uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, the best way to ma make sure uh, that they are fully controlled is to give them, give the Ukraine full uh, diplomatic recognition so that we can work in controlling those nuclear devices. I have met with the president of uh, Ukraine. I met with him in September and uh, he understands the necessity of seeing to it that, that those weapon systems are dealt with in the way that they don't become a menace uh, to peace and to mankind. So it's important that we give diplomatic recognition immediately so we can have our input and so that they can get their uh, economy moving. Is the United States trying to uh, provide any economic support for Ukraine, seeing as we're in economic warfare at least? Yeah, one of the things that we can do is to uh, encourage our private sector, and that's where uh, the economic support will come from. And in addition to underwrite that the private sector's investments 
uh, will not be expropriated. That's one of the things that we do through what we call the PIC, the OPIC uh, Corporation, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, so that while we will not be putting direct dollars except for humanitarian aid, and by the way, I think that when it comes to providing food, medical assistance, the United States should be ready and willing and able to do that. I do not believe that we should be making economic assistance in the traditional sense, but rather humanitarian aid. The Ukraine is a very wealthy region, and indeed, I predict we will be undertaking vast trade with uh, Ukraine, and it's about time that we undertook that. They don't want to be tied to the central government. They're correct. Right, and I brought it here. I wanted to quote this
May God grant them peace, prosperity, unity, and bless them for many, many long and glorious years. Nova Gita is Slava Ukraini.
I want you to know that we are all filled with a zeal to see to it that our nation is in the forefront of independence and full diplomatic recognition so that there will be, as the ambassador said, no mischief makers who attempt to complicate what is a situation that calls for men of good action and conscience to stand and to do the right thing and not to play politics and to give the people of Ukraine the recognition that they have waited too long for and that is the recognition of full diplomatic recognition from the United States of America. Slava Ukraine!
distinguished Mr. Mayor, when I am here, I learned that whenever I travel, I always try to find connections with Ukraine. I was recently in Sierra Leone, and this is a country in Western Africa, and I traced such connections when I <laughs> met with their president, the general. Uh, an Armenian businessman living in Sierra Leone uh, married a Ukrainian girl. But these are connections. <laughs> Here, certainly, this is the connection, and we are very grateful that you uh, permitted to, to hand these national Ukrainian flags, which uh, which reflects our independence, because uh, a few years ago, for these flags, people were imprisoned in, in, in Soviet Union, the former Soviet Union, fortunately. And I also... <laughs> I would like to present with, a, with this modest souvenir from Ukraine. Uh, this is a plate. We would like you to hand it in your office and to be closer to, to Ukraine. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Such as Nishiotsi, but Mashalami, Pani, Banave. Сьогодні ми зійшлися, що вперше в нашій історії визначити незалежність, яку український народ виборов. Виборов її, ідучи за покликом свого серця, за голосом своєї совісті і національної готовості стати в обороні своєї держави. Сьогодні ми в першу чергу складаємо подяку Господеві, а також тим усім, які боролися за щастя, за добро свого народу, що він усягнув незалежність. Ми також здаємо довг вдячності отим духовим велетням, Серед яких геніальна постать Тараса Шевченка майорить і вчуваються нам його слова. Встане Україна і розвіють му неволі, світ правди засвітить і помолиться на волі невольні чи діти. Дорогі українці, шановні наші приятелі, Серед цієї еуфорії, з почуттям спільної відповідальності за будучність нашої встановленої батьківщини, маємо честь сьогодні вітати серед нас високопоставленого гостя, достойного Геннадія Удовенка, амбасадра України до об'єднаних націй. Висловуємо сподівання що саме в результаті проголошення незалежності ви, достойний пане амбасадори, тепер матимете змогу, як ніколи досі, присвятити своє життя Україні, віддати і ваші сили, і ваше знання для добра, слави і щастя вільної української демократичної держави. Слава Україні!
the legislature, Ecker, distinguished town supervisor, Lepa, distinguished county, uh, distinguished county executive elect, King, reverend fathers, ministers, and rabbis. I am indeed honored to be here on the invitation of Ukrainian Business and Professional Association of Rochester, which sponsored my uh, visit here together with my colleague, colleagues from the Ukrainian mission. Which this visit, which is devoted to the independence of Ukraine, coincides with another very attractive uh, event dear to all of us who are present here. I mean, as it was mentioned by Professor Pedeshenko, I mean the release of Terry uh, Anderson. I would like to say that the Secretary General of the United Nations, Paris Aguilar, and his special assistant, Mr. Pico, played a very important role in getting Mr. Anderson released uh, from his very long, long uh, captivity. Uh, this, I am given 10 minutes. I would like you not to count <laughs> these minutes because this is appreciation to everybody who is here. We are very indeed grateful and honored to be here. I would like especially to praise uh, a very important role uh, our good friend and my good friend, Senator Damata, is playing in recognition of Ukraine. I think that we have been, uh, uh, we have spoken on this for three or four years. We met periodically and always discussed what the Senate can uh, do for Ukraine. Now the Senate adopted a resolution calling on the President to recognize Ukraine. And I'm very proud to inform you that today a delegation of the State Department headed by the Assistant Secretary of State, uh, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Miles, Nile is in Kiev and they are uh, discussing with Ukrainian authorities future relations between Ukraine and, uh, and the United States of America. But really, we need the earliest recognition of our independence by this administration and we would be very grateful to this administration for the earliest establishment of diplomatic relations. In the meantime, I would like to say that the first country which opened its embassy in Kiev already opened a few days ago is Hungary. And we are very grateful to this country and to Poland as well. Uh, these are two countries which recognized us and established diplomatic relations with us. Uh, this is only the beginning of a lengthy process of diplomatic. Another important thing I would like to uh, say that we are indeed very greatly to American uh, Ukrainian community for their assistance, for their moral, political, financial assistance they have provided to us for to Ukraine for many years. These people are indeed great patriots of, although they are patriots of this, uh, their motherland, the United States of America, but they remember uh, the land of their fathers and mothers, grandfathers and grandmothers, and they maintain very close relations. Today, when I visited, I visited all the churches uh, here, and uh, uh, we were in a in a school and small children for three, four, five years, they already sung Ukrainian, uh, sang Ukrainian things. This is great. And I noticed that there, that there were a few uh, uh, Americans, not of Ukrainian descent, uh, even black uh, children were members of this poor and Ukrainian or Jew voted for independence of Ukraine. Yeah.
Kirchuk, who made a very successful visit to this country in last September, who was received by, by Prime Minister Mulroney, by President Bush, and then President Mitterrand, heard that he was seen by these two distinguished leaders <laughs> and immediately invited him on his way back from Washington to Kiev, invited to Paris, and uh, Leonid Kravchuk, uh, Leonid Kravchuk met with President, President Mitterrand. During one visit, uh, this greatly uh, helped, say, the international recognition, international recognition of Ukraine. This is very, very important for us to be recognized. And in the United Nations, we use our membership in the United Nations to press, to press on various member states to recognize us as early as possible. Yesterday, someone gave me this booklet, a leaflet. I uh, would like to quote what it is said here. <coughs> Should the U.S. recognize Ukraine? Absolutely. Ukraine should be treated just like other new democracies. President Bush should recognize Ukraine just as he has recognized the three Baltic republics. Delaying recognition will only encourage not friendly nations to, to use these factors of non-recognition. When the U.S. declared independence from England, Ukraine also wanted to recognize the United States, but we were under the Tsarist Empire at that time. <laughs> and now I can say this is given to me by Croatians, and this says, should the U.S. recognize Croatia, but I am using it for my own purposes. <laughs> In conclusion, I would like to say a few words in my mother tongue to my fellow American Ukrainian friends to show that I am Ukrainian ambassador here in the United Nations. Дорогі шановні пане і панове, для мене велика честь прибути сюди на запрошення ваших земляків наших земляків і сьогодні зустрітись з усіма вами. Це е, дуже хвилюючий момент для мене, коли ви, американці, українці, разом з українцями з України відзначаєте цю історичну подію незалежність Великої України. Ми сьогодні багато чого побачили і скрізь нас дуже тепло приймали, скрізь всі ті люди, з ким ми зустрічалися, вони висловлювали те, про що вони навіть не мріяли, що за їх життя Україна може стати незалежною. Я хочу подякувати всім вам, хто всі ці роки не тільки мріяв, а допомагав нам, щоб здійснилася віковічна мрія українського народу виборити свою незалежність. Ми її вибрали. Будуть у нас ще дуже важкі дні попереду, у нас дуже складне економічне становище, але мені здається, що наш миролюбний, працездатний народ України, він подолає ці всі перешкоди. Я хочу іще раз сердечно подякувати Асоціації українських бізнесменів в Рочестері за запрошення відвідати і хочу завершити, сказати, подякувати вам сердечно за все, що ви робите для нас, для нашої України і сказати слава Україні! And I thought that had the festival been a week later, only one week later, uh, we would have been celebrating uh, these events at that time, because it was only, I think, Monday or Tuesday of that week that all of this came to pass. <coughs> Mr. Ambassador, you have honored this community with your presence. Uh, I understand that this is the first celebration of its kind in the United States. 
uh, and this community is honored to be the host of that. Uh, and let me uh, tell all of you that uh, it never hurts in this country which is blessed with so much to be reminded of how precious freedom really is. Slava Ukraini. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
present a very modest souvenir of Ukraine. This is a small box, a lacquer box, for to appreciate your great contribution to what you have done and I hope will do for us, for a newly emerged 52 million nation. Thank you very much. My dear friends, Mr. Ambassador, we are delighted to have you with us today. It's good to see Bob King, Arnie Eckert, Joanne Van Zandt, Fred Lapp, all my other friends in government, Mayor Ryan. But you know, the day that we had hoped for and longed for has come. As remarkable as it is, December 1st, our newest democracy. And two weeks ago, I had the opportunity to make a statement through the voice of America on your behalf and say how much we look forward as Americans and Ukrainian Americans to joining hands with our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and the opportunity to tell them that they had no more steadfast and loyal friends than they have in Rochester, New York. I was also honored recently by a visit of a number of parliamentarians from Ukraine who presented me with one of their newly minted medals of freedom. And we had an opportunity to tour the Capitol. I took them over and I got to do what no congressman in the world can do for them. I showed them the ladies' lounge, which used to be the, which used to be the speaker's office in the old Capitol, and the bust of John Quincy Adams, who had served his country both as president and as a member of Congress. We had a good long talk, and I, I got a chance to say to them again, how much it had meant to me, how it had enriched my life, that I had been able, as a member of Congress, through you, to reach out to them and to understand, to suffer with them through Chernobyl, to understand what was going on and to, to work to bring people here for medical treatment, the wonderful Ola Lauren, and to tell them that never in my life, and you've heard me say this before, and I say it every way, Never in my life will I learn a lesson like I did from Daniel Oshimu, that incredible man in prison for 40 years who could have gotten out any time simply by saying he wouldn't write anymore. And yet when he came out and when he was here with us, he was again a man of such compassion and such joy and such insight that I shall never see his life again. He taught me a great deal as you have. And the thing that we have learned again about the independence of Ukraine is that when the cause is just, when we are willing in our hearts to stand steadfast, when the human spirit will not be conquered by cruelty or unfairness, that justice will prevail. And it has, my dear friends. Slava Ukraini. <laughs> Okay, she turned that off on me. 
just before I do this, there are a lot of skeptics said that this is, couldn't be done. And I'll tell you, when I walked into this hall today, I had tears in my eyes. And I want to thank every single one of you in making this a very special day for all of us, not only the Ukrainians, but throughout the entire world. Thank you, thank you very much. I want to pay special tribute to since I have a second. It wouldn't be possible for us to be here if it wasn't for the help of our Mayor Thomas Ryan. Mayor Ryan, we thank you very much. I know we've been up here too long, but I'll just very quickly read what each of the certificates that we've been presenting reads. It says, Ukrainian American Business and Professional Association of Rochester, New York, presents the award of appreciation to, this one is being presented to the Honorable John J. LaFosse, United States House of Representatives, for promotion and support of the right of the people of Ukraine to freedom, democracy, and self-determination, which Formulated in December 1, 1991, the national referendum affirming Ukrainian independence, December 8, 1991, Vladimir Kalashenko, President, Alex Loy, Vice President. Please give this to the Honorable Congressman LaFalse, with special thanks from our entire greater Rochester area community. Thank you very much. I was a youngster at a very early age, but I remember that Frank Horton never missed in one of our academias, as we call the celebrations that we had for Ukraine. Here is a man who was present at every single one of them. I'm sorry, I believe he's out of the uh, state or out of the country today, and uh, we would like to express uh, best wishes to him, and please thank us or thank him, I should say, on our behalf for his generous and unwavering support to the Ukrainian community of the greater Rochester area. Thank you. He couldn't be here, but he did want to welcome His Excellency to Rochester, the Ambassador of the United Nations, and he did send a gift on behalf of all Congressional representatives of New York State. Ukraine and the Ukrainian people affirmed their 
their desire and for freedom, democracy, and independence in a national referendum. Whereas citizens of Ukraine dissent, we have greatly enriched our community by their important contributions of civic betterment and good citizenship are celebrating the joyous occasion of Ukraine's independence. And the town of Ronnie supports the Ukrainian people's right to self-determination, freedom, and democracy. And whereas it desires to develop greater understanding of the people, culture, and heritage of Ukraine through a sister city relationship with the historic city of Okpa, Ukraine. Now, therefore, we, Frederick W. Lample, Supervisor, the Council members of the town of Rondequay, do hereby proclaim December 1st, 1991, Ukrainian Independence Day in the town of Rondequay, and urge all the town residents to join our friends of Ukrainian descent in celebrating the birth of a free and independent Ukraine. I would like to inform you that the Ukrainian flag has flown over the town of Arandi flight from December the 1st, it will through the end of this week. Thank you very much, good luck, and God bless all of you.